Welcome back children. We are doing poverty as a challenge MCQ and this is the part 3 and the last part. I hope you have enjoyed the part 1 and part 2 and it's helping you. If you have liked it, please do comment, share with your friends and for any suggestions feel free to write. So let's begin the part 3. Women, children, girl child and old people are much richer than others. Poorest of the poor dependent on these or none of the above answer is they are poorest of the poor so correct answer is poorest of the poor the calorie requirement is higher in the rural areas because of food items are expensive there people are engaged in physical labor they are engaged in mental work or they do not enjoy as much as people in the urban areas so children the correct answer for this is people are engaged in physical labor. Let's refer the book also. So if you see in your book, page 32, since people living in rural areas engage themselves in more physical work, calorie requirements in rural areas are considered to be higher than in urban areas. So correct answer is people are engaged in physical labor. Who do not come under the category of urban poor, the unemployed, the casual workers, rickshaw pullers or the shopkeeper? Answer is the shopkeeper. Which of the following is responsible for high poverty rates, lack of effective implementation of land reforms, huge income inequalities, unequal distribution of land or all of the above. So children actually it is all these three reasons which is responsible for high poverty rates. What is the poverty ratio in the state of Orissa? Is it 33.6%, 32.6%, 34.6% or 35.6%? The correct answer for this children is 32.6%. Prime Minister Rozgar Yojana was started in 1993, 1973, 1983 or 2003. Answer is 1993. Let's learn little bit more about it. So children again, if you see in page 39, Prime Minister Rozgar Yojana or PMRY is another scheme which was started in 1993. The aim of the program is to create self-employment opportunities for educated unemployed youth in rural areas and small towns so it is 1993 which of the following is not a valid reason for the poverty alleviation program in india corruption at the highest level overlapping of schemes lack of proper implementation lack of rights targeting so children so the valid reason for the poverty elevation program in India, which is not a valid reason is corruption at the highest level. Social groups which are most vulnerable to poverty are scheduled tribes only, scheduled castes only, both scheduled caste and scheduled tribes or none of the above. I think you must have guessed by now children. It is both scheduled caste and scheduled tribes. Which one from the following states is above the national average of poverty ratio? Andhra Pradesh, Karnataka, West Bengal or Tamil Nadu? The answer is West Bengal. Who advocated that India would be truly independent only when the poorest of its people become free of human suffering? Indira Gandhi, Jawaharlal Nehru, Mahatma Gandhi or Subhash Chandra Bose? Answer is Mahatma Gandhi. Which state has the largest percentage of poor in India? Kerala, Bihar, Odisha or Punjab? Correct answer for the children is Odisha. The above people depend on man and thus are considered poorest of the poor. A landless laborer, teacher, a businessman or a rich landlord. So answer to the children is a landless laborer. 
which one from the following is considered as poor a businessman a teacher a rich landlord or a landless laborer so which is did it, it answer is a landless laborer which scheme was started in 1993 to create self employment opportunities for educated unemployed youth in rural areas and small towns rural employment generation program swanjati gram swaraj uh, swarozgar yojana national rural employment guarantee act or prime minister rozgar yojana i think we did it right now it's prime minister rozgar yojana which one of the social groups is vulnerable to poverty scheduled caste rural agricultural households urban casual labor or all of the above answer is children all of the above children this brings to the last question of this chapter and this part i hope you have enjoyed as much as i have enjoyed presenting it to you let's do the last question the swarnjanti gram swarajgar yojana was launched in 1979 2009 or 1989 so children we will refer to book again A target for creating 25 lakh new jobs has been set for the program under the 10th 5 year plan Swarn Jyanti Gram Swarozgar Yojana or SGSY was launched in 1999 The program aims at bringing the assisted poor families above the poverty line by organizing them into self help groups through a mix of bank credit and government subsidy So we know the answer now it's 1999 thank you children for watching this video i wish you all the success and good luck for your exam in life keep watching and keep sharing